Albania during World War I was an independent state, having gained independence from the Ottoman Empire on November 28, 1912, recognized by the Great Powers in 1913. A new country with various ethnic groups, it quickly unraveled and just a few months after taking power, its leader William of Weed, was forced to flee. After World War I broke out, anarchy took hold of the country as tribes and regions rebelled against central rule. To protect the Greek minority, Greek control was established in the southern districts replacing the northern Epirote units. In response to this, Italy also landed troops, while Serbia and Montenegro took control of northern regions. In 1915 Serbia was overrun by the Austro-Hungarian army and the Serbian army retreated through Albania, quickly followed by the Austro-Hungarian army. As a result, the Austrians occupied most of the country, until a multinational Allied force broke through Austrian and German lines in 1918. Topic. Background Albania was a country only created a few years before World War I in the aftermath of the Balkan Wars Serbia, Montenegro and Greece all occupied and claimed parts of Albania. It was decided that William of Weed, a German prince would become leader of the new Principality of Albania. The Principality under William of Weed was established on 21 February 1914 and Prince William arrived in Albania at his provisional capital of Duras on 7 March 1914 along with the royal family. The security of Albania was to be provided by a gendarmerie commanded by Dutch officers. Inside Albania he was called the King William, outside Albania, Prince William. The southern part of the country, Epirote, which had a large Greek population, graded at being part of Albania and when the Greek soldiers left, it rose up against William. Under pressure from the great powers the Greeks backed down on independence demands and negotiations were carried out on the island of Corfu, where on 17 May 1914 Albanian and Epirote representatives signed an agreement known as the Protocol of Corfu. According to its terms Epirote would acquire complete autonomous existence as a corpus separatum under the nominal Albanian sovereignty of Prince William. The agreement of the protocol was ratified by the representatives of the great powers at Athens on 18 June and by the Albanian government on 23 June. Topic. World War I Just one month after Protocol of Corfu was signed by the Albanians on June 23, 1914, war broke out in Europe, officially starting on July 28, 1914, the war threw Albania into disarray. Topic. Revolt and Prince William leaves Albania One month after accepting the throne on 7 March, King William arrived in his provisional capital of Duras and started to organize his government, appointing Turhan Pasha Permeti to form the first Albanian cabinet. This first cabinet was dominated by members of the nobility Prince Esed Pasha Toptani, 
Defense and Foreign Affairs, Prince George Adamidi Bey Fratchery, Finances, and Prince Aziz Patch of Rioni, Agriculture. His brief reign proved a turbulent one. Immediately following his arrival revolts of Muslims broke out in central Albania against his chief minister, Esed Pasha, and against foreign domination. Meanwhile, Greece encouraged the formation of a «provisional government of North Epirus» in the southern part of the country. Although an agreement was made to grant extra rights to the Greek minority, the Hellenic army occupied southern Albania excluding Barat and Kors. William's position was also undermined by his own officials, notably Esed Pasha himself, who accepted money from Italy to finance a revolt and to stage a coup against William. Pasha was arrested on 19 May 1914 and tried for treason and sentenced to death. Only the intervention of Italy saved his life and he escaped to Italy in exile. The outbreak of World War I presented more problems for Prince William as Austria-Hungary demanded that he send Albanian soldiers to fight alongside them. When he refused, citing the neutrality of Albania in the Treaty of London, the remuneration that he had been receiving was cut off. Various tribal chiefs and self-styled warlords took control of central and northern Albania. In the Greek south, local leaders renounced the Protocol of Corfu and seized control. Prince William left the country on 3 September 1914. <inaudible> <inaudible> Greek occupation of Northern Epirus October 1914. Sporadic armed conflicts continue to occur in spite of the Protocol of Corfu's ratification, and on September 3, 1914 Prince Wilhelm departed the country. In the following days, an Epirote unit launched an attack on the Albanian garrison in Barat without approval from the provisional government, managing to capture its citadel for several days, while Albanian troops loyal to Esed Pasha initiated small-scale armed operations. These events worried Greek Prime Minister Eleftherios Venizelos, as well as the possibility that the unstable situation could spill over outside Albania, triggering a wider conflict. On October 27, 1914, after receiving the approval of the Great Powers the Greek Army's Fifth Army Corps entered the area for a second time. The Provisional Government of Northern Epirus formally ceased to exist, declaring that it had accomplished its objectives. Greek troops crossed the southern Albanian border at the end of October 1914, officially reoccupying southern Albania, exclusive of Lore, and establishing a military administration by 27 October 1914. The Italians were not happy with the Greek occupation and sent in Italian marines to occupy Vlor, or Avlona, or Valona, as they called it. On October 31 the Italians seized the strategic island of Sassano or Sazan Island. In December Italy reiterated that Albania would remain neutral as stated at the London Conference and that Italian bluejackets were landed at Avlona with this objective. <inaudible> <inaudible> Serbian retreat and Austrian occupation winter 1915. 
As anarchy grew in northern Albania and the Greeks moved into the south, Italy sent its troops to occupy Vlor while Serbia and Montenegro occupied parts of northern Albania. Successful defensive moves during the Serbian campaign of World War I kept the Central Powers out of Albania until 1915. Bulgaria was finally coaxed into entering the war on the side of the Central Powers and the Austro-Hungarians and Germans began their attack against Serbia on October 7 while on October 14, 1915, the Bulgarian army attacked from two directions sending the Serbian armies into disarray. After attacks from both Bulgaria and Austria, Serbian army leader Marshal Putnik ordered a full retreat, south and west through Montenegro and into Albania. The weather was terrible, the roads poor, and the army had to help the tens of thousands of civilians who retreated with them with almost no supplies or food left. But the bad weather and poor roads worked for the refugees as well, as the Central Powers forces could not press them hard enough, and so they evaded capture. Many of the fleeing soldiers and civilians did not make it to the coast, though, they were lost to hunger, disease, attacks by enemy forces and Albanian tribal bands. The circumstances of the retreat were disastrous, and all told, only some 155,000 Serbs, mostly soldiers, reached the coast of the Adriatic Sea, and embarked on Italian transport ships that carried the army to various Greek islands many to Corfu, before being sent to Salonika. The evacuation of the Serbian army from Albania was completed on 10 February 1916. In the Serbs' wake came the armies of Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria. They would occupy most of Albania until the Vardar offensive of September 1918. Topic. Austro-Hungarian occupation of Albania 1916 The largest part of Albania was occupied by Austria-Hungary. This occupation was presented as «friendly» because Austria-Hungary and Albania were not at war. The Austro-Hungarians left the local administration in place, formed an Albanian gendarmerie and opened schools. The development of a proper Albanian language and orthography was promoted to reduce Italian influences. They also built roads and other infrastructure. Less popular was their attempt to confiscate weapons, which were all present amongst the civilian population. Nevertheless, several thousand Albanians fought on the side of the Austro-Hungarians against the Allies, including when the Italian army landed at Durazzo. The military administration was established at Skatari. Austro-Hungarian military commanders were Hermann Kovas von Kovesaza, February 1916 to March 1916, commander of the Third Army. Ignaz Trollman, March 1916 to October 1917, commander of the 19th Corps. Ludwig Kahnen Horik, October 1917 to July 1918, commander of the 19th Corps. Karl von Flanzer Balton, July 1918 to October 1918, commander of Army Group Albania. Civil administrator was August Ritter von Kral. Topic. 
Bulgarian occupation of Albania, 1916–1917. On December 10, 1915, the Bulgarian army crossed the Drin River, entered Albania, and attacked the positions of the retreating Serbian army. Firstly the Bulgarian army advanced into the valley of River Mat, threatening to capture Škodra and Lazi. There was a rivalry between the Kingdom of Bulgaria and Austria-Hungary in establishing their influence in Albania. Attempting to establish its influence in Albania, Bulgaria allowed Ahmed Zogu to establish his administration in Elbasan and supported him in his attempts to revive support for the regime of Wilhelm of Weed. The double invasion by Austria-Hungary and Kingdom of Bulgaria and a lack of support by the Kingdom of Serbia or Italy, forced Esed Pasha Toptani to leave his proclaimed Republic of Central Albania on February 24, 1916, when he again declared war against Austria-Hungary. In September 1917 the French troops commanded by General Maurice Sorel undertook an action against the armies of Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria in Albania. Although the armies of Bulgaria and Austria-Hungary were joined by Albanians, led by Heysen Nikolica, French troops captured Pogradec, ending the Bulgarian occupation of Albania. Topic. French and Italian protectorate over southern Albania autumn 1916. In May 1916, the Italian 16th Corps, some 100,000 men under the command of General Settimio Piacentini, returned and occupied the region of southern Albania by the autumn 1916, while the French army occupied Kors and its surrounding areas on November 29, 1916. The Italian in Giracaster and French forces in course, according mainly to the development of the Balkan Front, entered the area of former Autonomous Republic of Northern Epirus controlled by the Greek minority in autumn 1916, after approval of the Triple Entente. The establishment of the Autonomous Albanian Republic of course was done on December 10, 1916, by French authorities with a protocol, according to which an autonomous province would be established on the territories of course, Bailishti, Colonia, Opar and Gora in eastern Albania. On December 12, 1916, Italy asked for explanations from the key Dorsey, through its ambassador, because the establishment of the autonomous Albanian Republic of course violated the Treaty of London. Austria-Hungary used French precedent in course to justify the proclamation of independence of Albania under its protectorate on January 3, 1917, in Škodra. The Kingdom of Italy did the same when proclaiming independence of Albania under its protectorate on June 23, 1917, in Giracostra. General Giacinto Ferrero proclaimed on that day the Italian protectorate and the next weeks entered Greece and occupied Yanina in Epirus. Neither Great Britain nor France had been consulted beforehand, and they did not give any official recognition to the Italian protectorate. This Albanian Republic under the leadership of Turhan Permeti, protected by 100,000 soldiers of the Italian army, adopted officially a red flag with a black eagle in the middle, but raised a storm of protests, even in the Italian parliament. In autumn 1918, 
the Italians expanded their protectorate without adding anything officially to Albania to areas of northern Greece around Castoria and western Macedonia around Bitola, conquered from the Bulgarians and Ottomans. On September 25 the Italian 35th Division reached and occupied Krusovo deep inside western Macedonia. Topic: Macedonian Front 1916 to 1918. The Macedonian Front, also known as the Salonika Front of World War I, was formed as a result of an attempt by the Allied powers to aid Serbia. The Allies were able to move the Serbian army from Corfu to regions of Greece and Albania where eventually, a stable front was established, running from the Albanian Adriatic coast to the Struma River, pitting a multinational Allied force against the Bulgarian army, which was at various times bolstered with smaller units from the remaining Central Powers. The Macedonian front remained quite stable, despite local actions, until the Great Allied Offensive in September 1918. In September 1918, Entente forces finally broke through the Central Powers lines north of Thessaloniki and within days Austro-Hungarian forces began to withdraw from Albania. On October 2, 1918, the city of Duras was shelled on the orders of Louis Franchet Despere, during the Battle of Durazzo. According to Despere, the port of Duras, if not destroyed, would have served the evacuation of the Bulgarian and German armies, involved in World War I. When the war ended on the 11th of November 1918, Italy's army had occupied most of Albania, Serbia held much of the country's northern mountains, Greece occupied a sliver of land within Albania's 1913 borders, and French forces occupied Kors and Škoder as well as other regions with sizable Albanian populations. Under the Secret Treaty of London signed in April 1915, Triple Entente powers promised Italy that it would gain Vlor Valona and nearby lands and a protectorate over Albania in exchange for entering the war against Austria-Hungary. Serbia and Montenegro were promised much of northern Albania, and Greece was promised much of the country's southern half. The treaty left a tiny Albanian state that would be represented by Italy in its relations with the other major powers. Topic: <laughs> Aftermath. Albania's political confusion continued in the wake of World War 1. The country lacked a single recognized government, and Albanians feared, with justification, that Italy, Yugoslavia, and Greece would succeed in extinguishing Albania's independence and carve up the country. Italian forces controlled Albanian political activity in the areas they occupied. The Serbs, who largely dictated Yugoslavia's foreign policy after World War I, strove to take over northern Albania, and the Greeks sought to control southern Albania. U.S. President Woodrow Wilson intervened to block the Paris Agreement. The United States underscored its support for Albania's independence by recognizing an official Albanian representative to Washington, and on December 17, 1920, the League of Nations recognized Albania's sovereignty by admitting it as a full member. The country's borders, however, remained unsettled. 
In the meantime, the Italian army had been chased out of Albania by an Albanian volunteer force during the Vlora War, June to September 1920. Topic: <laughs> Annotations. Topic Bibliography Notes References GDF 2014. War in 1918 Albania in Italian. Lagrandegera.net. Retrieved October 24, 2014. Guy, Nicola 2007. The Albanian Question in British Policy and the Italian Intervention, August 1914 to April 1915. Diplomacy and Statecraft, 18, 1, 109 131. doi 10.1080/0959229060116313035. Heaton Armstrong, Duncan, 2005. An Uprising in the Six Month Kingdom. Gervis Belfield and Bajtula Destani, IB Tories, in association with the Centre for Albanian Studies. Archived from the original on January 25, 2011. Retrieved January 25, 2011. Kabashi, Gazim, December 24, 2012. Photo E R R Alla, Bombardi me I durasit me to teeter 1918. Rare photos, bombing of Duras on October 2, 1918. Gazeta e durasit, archived from the original on the 24th of October 2014. Retrieved October 23, 2014. Kola, Paulin, 2003. The Search for Greater Albania. C. Hearst & Co. Publishers. ISBN 9781850600. Total pages. 416 Leon, George B. January 1970. Greece and the Albanian Question at the Outbreak of the First World War. Institute for Balkan Studies. 11 to 12, 1, 61 to 80. Miller, William. 1966. The Ottoman Empire and its Successors, 1801–1927. Taylor and Francis Group. ISBN 9780714600. Total pages, 616 The New York Sunday, November 1, 1914. Italy occupies Sassano. The New York Sun. Retrieved October 24, 2014. New York Times, October 23, 1914. Albanian Army led by Young American. New York Times. Retrieved October 24, 2014. New York Tribune, December 28, 1914. Italy notifies the powers Albania shall not join war. New York Tribune. Retrieved October 24, 2014. Ale, Jam, July 15, 1996. Republic of Course, 1917-1918. Flagspot.net. Retrieved October 24, 2014. Pearson, Owen. 2004. Albania in the 20th Century: A History, Volume 1. Albania and King Zog, 1908 to 39. I. B. Tories. 
ISBN 9781845538000 130 Total pages 585 Popescu Stefan 2014 Les Français et la République de Courtia Guerres mondiales et conflits contemporains 213 to 77. Doi 10.3917 GMCC.213.0077. La signature de CE protocol contraviant aux stipulations du traité de Londres, par conséquent, l'Italie demanda des explications au qui d'Orsi, par l'intermédiaire de son ambassador, le 12 décembre 1916. Ruches, Pyrrhus J. Albania's Captives. Argonaut, total pages, 213 Storiologia.it 2014. General Ferrero and Albania in Italian. Storiologia.it. Retrieved October 24, 2014. Stickney, Edith Pierpont 1924. Southern Albania, 1912 to 1923. Stanford University Press. ISBN 9780804750. Topic: Thomas, Nigel and contributor Dusan Babic, 2001. Armies in the Balkans 1914–18. Osprey Publishing. ISBN 9781841301. Total pages, 48 Tucker, Spencer, Roberts, Priscilla Mary, 2005. Encyclopedia of World War I Clio Press. ISBN 9781851375000 9452 Total pages, 1661 Young, Antonia, Hodgson, John, Young, Nigel 1997. Albania. Clio Press. ISBN 9781851375000 92604 Total pages 293worldstatesman.org 2015 Albania worldstatesman.org retrieved November 22 2015 Encyclopedia 1914 to 1918, 2015. Albania, Besetztes Freundesland. Encyclopedia. 1914-1918 online.net. Retrieved November 28, 2015. Topic: Further reading. Bloomy, Isa, Albania, in, 1914–1918 online. International Encyclopedia of the First World War ed., by Ute Daniel, Peter Gattrell, Oliver Jans, Heather Jones, Jennifer Keane, Alan Kramer, and Bill Nassen, issued by Frey Universitat Berlin, Berlin 8 October 2014. Guy, Nicola. 2012. The Birth of Albania, Ethnic Nationalism, The Great Powers of World War I and the Emergence of Albanian Independence London, I. B. Tories. Tallinn, James N. Albania's Long War, 1912–1925. 
Studia Historicens, Volume 4, 2014, 437 to 455. Österreichisch Staatsarchiv in German. Topic: External links. Media related to history of Albania at Wikimedia Commons.